Prince Charles has revealed he is still walking around in a pair of shoes he bought in 1971 to 47 years ago. And he also said he still wears a jacket he bought in 1969 to 49 years ago. The prince said his waste not want not attitude could save the planet. He said the clothes had been repeatedly patched up and was still going strong. While it is unclear which of the prince's shoes have stood the test of time, the royal has consistently worn a mahogany pair of brogues from 1971 onward. Charles, who denied last week he travels with his own royal toilet seat, was talking during the royal visit to Australia. He made the comments in a rare question and answer session with the Australian Financial Review magazine which was published online. Charles said, I have always believed in trying to keep as many of my clothes and shoes going for as long as possible, some go back to 1971 and one jacket to 1969. Through patches and repairs, and in this way I tend to be in fashion once every 25 years. It is extraordinary how fashions change and, speaking as someone who, on the whole, hates throwing away things without finding another use for them or mending them. I couldn't be more delighted if, at last, there is a growing awareness of the urgent need to get away from the throwaway society and to move towards a more circular economy. Charles believes the sustainability of the planet depends on recycling and protecting natural materials such as wool and leather. Charles was speaking after arriving in Australia where he opened the Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast. Earlier in the seven-day visit he turned the air blue as a cheeky Aussie asked on radio if he took a personal toilet seat on tour. Radio listeners heard him reply, My own what? Oh, don't believe all that crap. The rumor was published in a new biography, Rebel Prince, The Power, Passion and Defiance of Prince Charles, by Tom Bauer. Charles went on to say he feared the use of synthetic fibers instead of natural material was throwing out the baby with the bath water. He added, what inspired me to start the process of trying to raise awareness of the importance of sustainability was to witness the wholesale abandonment in the 1960s and 1970s of many tried and tested traditional techniques and approaches. In other words, the baby was thrown out with the bath water in all directions with increasingly dire consequences as we have seen. So I have spent a large proportion of my time trying to bring back the baby, and I have stuck with it because I happen to mind deeply about the poisoned legacy we are leaving our children and grandchildren and have been attempting to invest in their futures through reminding people of the urgent need to work in harmony with nature, rather than against her. <laughs>